Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to make this 3D leaf bag. That's a free pattern, maybe you see, uh, saw this uh, before. I used this yarn, it's Alize Cotton Gold Plus. It's not the same color, this color is cinnamon, I think. Uh, and I use five ball of this yarn totally and one ball of yarn is 200 meters if I could show you that's the size 4 yarn 200 meters and I use 4.5 and 5 millimeters crochet hooks with that 4.5 for here here this handle and five millimeter for the rest of the bag and that's really big bag I want to give you the final measurements it's 16 inches and if I measure it from here I'm not sure how to measure it I can make it like that it's 15 inch long it's really big uh, you can use it um, for uh, anywhere you want and I hope you like this one it's not so hard to make just uh, need a little concentration uh, and both sides look good as you see uh, and if you have any question about this tutorial, please leave comments. I would like to answer your questions. And if you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And let's start. I'll start with a magic ring. Insert my hook from here, grab this yarn, take the same yarn and make a chain. You count this as a chain and uh, you will add one more chain. Start with two chain. This does not count as a stitch. Yarn over and insert my hook into that magic loop. Just take the yarn, yarn over, pull it through from two loops. Yarn over and pull it through from second two loops. That's a double crochet. Two. I will make 16 double crochet into that magic loop. And that's 16. Just take this yarn and squeeze it. Close this magic ring. And then I will insert my hook into that first stitch take this yarn to make a slip stitch take this two yarn together and make a chain with them I make it like that because I don't want this magic magic ring loosen up later so uh, I secure it here and just leave this yarn make one more chain this isn't uh, a stitch also uh, and every time it will be like that so I will not say it again don't count this chain twos that's my first stitch from previous row. 
Wrapped yarn, we will make front post double crochet. Insert my hook into here from front to back and around this double crochet I'll take it to the front again. Take the yarn and make a double crochet. And now I will make two back post double crochet around this next stitch. Insert my hook from back to front around this double crochet back again. You see? Make a back post double crochet and make one more into the same stitch. In the next one, make a front post double crochet. Next one, a back post. And yarn over again, insert your hook into same, the same, around same double crochet. Make one more. into the next one. Make a front post. Make two back posts around same double crochet. One and two. Go ahead and finish this row. I made two back post double crochet and that's my two chain. Insert from this first stitch with a slip stitch. Chain two and make a front post double crochet around this front post double crochet. And we have two back post double crochet here. Uh, we will make four back post double crochet now. Now this first one make two back post double crochet that's one and two and around the second make two again one and two into that front post double crochet make a front post And around these two back posts, that's the first one. One and two. And around the second one, one. Make a front post. One, two, three, four. Make a front post. At the end of the row, I made my four back posts and join from this front post stitch. Chain two. And this time I will make two front posts. That's the first one. Chain one and make one more. Okay, one front post, double crochet, chain one and one more, then make four back posts. One, two, 
3 4 here I will make one fruit post again and then make a four back post one two three four and here I will make one front post one chain one front post for this row we will make four back post and one front post then four back post and uh, two front posts uh, with one chain between uh, them this time I will make one front post and finish this row I complete this row and join from this uh, first front post chain 2 make a front post double crochet around this one by the way we have one two three and four uh, two front posts here and we will make our leaves uh, from them now make a front post yarn over insert into that one chain space and make a double crochet chain one and into the same space make one more double crochet and then make a front post double crochet and here from this first one I will make two back posts one and two and the second make only one third make two again one two and into the last one make one two one two one totally have six back post double crochet and here we will make one front post and here make the same thing one two next one make only one next one make two and make one we are here again I will show you one more time make a front post make a double chain one make one more double make a front post and here make two back posts one two one and one front post complete this row like that and for this row I start with two chain again all I will always uh, join with same method slip stitch into the same uh, place so I will not show you again and again make a front post double crochet and one more from here 
Make a double crochet into that one chain space, chain one, and one more double crochet. Then make two front post double crochet. One, two. Make one, two, three, four. Into that fifth one, we will make two. One and two. And into the next one, make one. We have seven here now and make one from here. By the way, I'm making this for the first time with you and uh, looking to the diagram. Uh, I hope we will make it good. <laughs> I hope it looks good. At the end, one, two, three, four, and here make two, one, two, and that's the last one. When you came here, make two front post double crochet, make a double crochet here, chain one, make one more double crochet into same space and make two front post double crochet. And repeat the same thing we did here. Go ahead and finish this row like that. I complete this row. By the way, I changed the color of the yarn. It's same yarn, uh, but lighter color because uh, the other one was maybe too dark. So I want to show you with this. Uh, and I change crochet hook actually also. Uh, I was using 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, but that was a little too um, tough. Uh, how could I explain it? It's not so stretchy. That looks nice. Uh, you can try and find your uh, crochet hook like I do. I think that's more, uh, that's looking good. Chain two and make three front post double crochet. One, two, three. Make a double crochet into here. Chain one, make one more double crochet. Make three front post double crochet. One, two, three. Now make a back post. Into that uh, second one, we will make two. One, two back post and then the uh, rest of uh, them make only one back post double crochet at the end i have uh, eight back post double crochet make a front post make one into the second one make two that's one and two and then 
put one back post double crochet for all these back posts. Make three front posts. One double crochet into that one chain space, one chain and one double crochet, three front post double crochet. And repeat this for this row. Chain two and make your front post double crochets, one, two, three four front posts this time we will make two front post double crochet into that one chain space again but we will not make a chain between them just put two two double crochet here that's one and two make four front post double crochet one, two, three, four, and make eight back post double crochet. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and here I will make three front post double crochet one, two, three front post double crochet around the same double front post double crochet. And make eight back post double crochet. For front post. Two double crochet, one and two, four front post double crochet. Just go ahead and finish this row like that. For this row, I will start to make front post double crochet. I will totally make ten front post double crochet here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I will make back post double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Into that seventh uh, back post, I will make two around this uh, cell, sorry. And then I will make one more. It's totally nine back post double crochet. Now here I will make two front post double crochet. One, two. One front post double crochet. 
and two again. It's totally five. And here, make six back posts. Make two back posts into the seventh. And make one more. When you reach here, you will make 10 front post double crochet. Finish this row like that. For this row, I will start with a decrease. Yarn over. Insert my hook around this first front post double crochet. Grab the yarn and pull it. Yarn over and pull it through from two loops. That's a, a half of a front post double crochet. I will make it one more time around this next front post. Yarn over and pull it through from two loops. I have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through from all these loops. That's a decrease. Now I will make front post double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. I will make one more uh, decrease here. Make a half. One more. Now I will make nine front post double crochet. Back post, sorry. Two, three. He's coming. <laughs> I think you heard him and he's coming. And that's nine. And here, make a front post double crochet. Chain one. A front post, sorry, sorry, a front post double crochet around the same front post here. Yes, I made a front post, chain one, a front post. Now, around this next one, I will make a back post. Here, I will just make a front post, back post. And a front post, chain one, a front post. Nine back post double crochet. Two front post double crochet together then six front post double crochet two 
two front post double crochet together that's our repeat go ahead and finish this row I will start with decrease again that's one double crochet now one front post double crochet here make a half and make one more half complete together make four double crochet one two three four and make two front post double crochet together that's the first one second one now we will um, make a decrease here to make a back post double crochet and then make two back post double crochet together make a half one more I have three loops on the, on the hook and close together that's a back post decrease and then make the rest one two three four five six I totally have eight back post double crochet here now and for here make a front post into that one chain space make a double crochet chain one one more double crochet make a front post we have a back post double crochet here I will make it make two back post double crochet around this first second make a front post make two back post make a front post into that one chain space a double crochet chain one one more double crochet and last front post we have two leaves here and we, uh, we are closing this one now here make a back post make two back posts together and make the rest then make two uh, front posts together here and here uh, go ahead and finish this row chain two I'll make a decrease then two front post double crochet a decrease here make a back post make two back posts together one two three four five back post it's totally seven now two front post double crochet into that one chain space make a double crochet 
chain one, a double crochet, two front pass double crochet. We have two back post double crochet here, around this first one make two, that's one and two, around the next one make two again. Make a front post. Make four back posts, two, three, four. Two front post double crochet, one double crochet, chain one. One double crochet and again two front post double crochet. One back post, two back posts together. And make the rest. And starting from here, make the same thing. Finish this row like that. For the row 13, chain 2 and make decreases. That's the first one. And make one more. Make your seven back post double crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three front posts. Make a double crochet here, chain one and one more double crochet. Three front posts. Four back posts. One front post double crochet, four back post double crochet, one, two, three front post, one double crochet, one chain. One double crochet and three front posts again. Make seven back post double crochet here, two front post uh, decrease here, like we did here, and repeat this pattern. Finish this row. For row 14, I start with chain 2, make a decrease, make 7 back post double crochet,
make four front post double crochet and we will make uh, double crochets here but again this time we will not make chains make a double crochet and one more four front post here make a back post double crochet and into that second one make two make the rest I have totally five back post double crochet here now make a front post I'll make the symmetrical here now just one two back post double crochet into that third one make two back posts and make one more it's five again uh, at the diagram time to time uh, it show this uh, increases or decreases uh, symmetrical and uh, sometimes uh, they are not symmetrical so I think it will work uh, with both way if it's too hard to remember uh, this way the symmetrical uh, increases or decreases you can just make like we do here uh, like that make one two one and one again make one two one and one you can make it like that too I think it will work one two three four make two double crochet here and one two three four make your seven back post double crochet make your decreases here and finish this row like that start with two chain and make a front post double crochet then make seven back post double crochet sorry Ten front post double crochet. One, two, Five back post three front post double crochet one two three five back post
and turn front post. and make seven back post double crochet one front post seven back post ten front post five back post three uh, front post double crochet here only difference is here uh, finish this row like that we are at the row 16 now almost half of this uh, bag and uh, I think it will be easier from now on chain 2 and uh, make a back post double crochet here you uh, if you remember that was front post and we will make back post double crochet here from now on and keep making your back post double crochets we will make a decrease here one two complete together make your front post double crochets one two three four five and six make these two together make five back posts one two three four and five and here we will start to make two new uh, leaves I'll make two front post double crochet one two one front post and two make five back post double crochet make a decrease six front post double crochet and a decrease again starting from here we will make back post double crochet don't forget to make this one too uh, we will totally have 15 back post double crochets and repeat this uh, finish this row uh, and that's the end of the uh, part one because uh, that's too long I want to uh, separate it that's the end of the part one I'll see you at the uh, part two video